FAW TV is back at Penadaran Boys and Girls Club as the team prepares to make its way to Bangor City for the quarterfinals of the JD Welsh Cup. We brought Bangor City manager Kevin Nicholson here to the Bont to chat to Kerry Mullins, the manager of Penadaran Boys and Girls Club. It's a huge, huge uh, cup tie for Penadaran, but a big opportunity for, for Bangor as well. This is a fantastic match in order to, to maybe uh, progress to the to the semi-finals. Obviously, we're really pleased to have got through to the quarter-final stage already. We've got through two tough games, and we're expecting a similar test, obviously, uh, when we play Penadaran on Sunday. But we're looking forward to the game. Obviously, we're determined to, to win the game and get through to the next round, because obviously that's the objective in any, any cup competition. We're fully aware as well of the quality of Penadaran. We know that they'll be fired up for the game, um, and obviously for the club here, you know, it's, uh, it's the biggest game in their history. We haven't come across anyone as highly ranked as Bangor. We're just going to go up and enjoy it, enjoy the day. We'd like to be competitive, but at the end of the day, getting as far as we have, first time we enter the cup, everyone in the club's over the moon. I would imagine we'll take two, three hundred minimum up, so, and they'll make some noise, it'll be a good atmosphere. I'm sure both sets of players want that. You know, they want a good crowd, a good, a good atmosphere to play in front of. We've obviously got an excellent support. You know, we're one of the best supported teams in our league, no doubt about that, home and away. We're looking forward to the occasion, we're looking forward to the game. We're going to try and train, I think, as much as what we possibly can this week due to the weather, uh, to make sure that we're, we're ready and well prepared for Sunday. Winning can become an habit. Um, so we'll definitely go in with an element of confidence we can perform, put in Penang on the map. That is a big achievement that the group of players have done at the minute. But as far as the club, we need to get in that Welsh league. That's the achievement we need to push on for. Of course, it's not just Bangor City and Penadaran Boys and Girls Club playing in the quarterfinals of the JD Welsh Cup this weekend. So we caught up with Scorio commentator Mark Jones to preview the other crunch ties in the quarterfinals. It's uh, Aberystwyth and Carmarthen again uh, in, in one of the uh, the other big matches. Uh, and of course, it was an entertaining game in the, the league last out. Uh, who's going to edge it this time? Well, I think it's um, it, it's a great game. Like, like you just said, it's down, you know, West Wales, Mid Wales, it's almost a derby with less than 100 miles between them. And um, I just think it's going to be a fantastic replay almost. It's almost like a cup replay after last week's 3 all. McMahon coming back after being 3-1 down in the 92nd minute and almost winning it 5-4. Eventually it was 4-all, but it'll be it'll be a great game. Connors Key, Andy Morrison and his team, it's about time. They know it's about time they they beat TNS in one of these one-off games. And I know Morrison wouldn't be happier than to win Saturday and uh, almost guarantee, you know, if they were to get to the semi-final, they would become favourites then, I think, for the cup. Landed no in the Robins? Yes. New Town. New Town, yeah. Great game. Great game. Both uh, both teams like get going forward. Um, they can both score goals as they've shown in, a, in the last couple of weeks. And um, I just think uh, again, it's it's uh, the quarter final of the Welsh FA Cup. Everybody got their own targets in the league. Chris Hughes will know where he wants to finish. Uh, Ewan Williams will know where he wants his club to finish. But let me tell you, uh, from my own experience, you get to a Welsh Cup final. It doesn't have make up make your season a good season and that's what them two boys will be looking to do they'll want to get to the Welsh Cup final and they're both capable of doing it since FAW TV last visited Penadan and Boys and Girls Club here at the Bont engagement on social media has reached new heights for the club we caught up with the club's social media manager 14 year old Mackenzie the support we've had off other clubs uh, most, most importantly people in our league giving us the best of luck it's been really good and especially the big teams as well the likes of Wales Premier League teams giving us good luck, and yeah, it's been it's been busy, but it's been enjoyable. Yeah, you know, it's been really really good. I think the biggest thing is is putting the club back on the map. You know, people know know where we are, especially this season, the start of the season. People you know maybe didn't know really who we were, but yeah, it's been it's been magnificent the journey, and uh, yeah, just can't wait now to Bangor this week. You know?